How many children came to the Miyuki Bridge on that Monday, the 6th of August, only to disappear again, like that little girl who's forever burned into Mr. Tsuboi's memory? Rie Kutsuki is very familiar with Yoshito Matsushige's two photos. Since her early childhood, she's grown up with a strange certainty, one shared by her whole family. There, in the photo, right behind the man applying the oil, a little boy with a shaven head stands with his back to us. He's clearly there in this photo. So why did he never make it back? I was told my grandparents heard the same question from people many times. For the whole family, there was never any doubt. This boy here is Uncle Akira. His unusually shaped ears are the indisputable proof. He's never been found. But one day my grandmother came across this famous photo. And she recognized her son, Akira even from the back. Akira, the brother of Kutsuki's father, is at school when the nuclear mushroom cloud blooms over Hiroshima. He's alone, and he tries to get home. He's pulled along in the rush towards the Miyuki Bridge, where Yoshito Matsushige photographs him. He's clearly there in this photo. So why did he never make it back? When a huge number of people all die at once, you can never know what happened to each one of them. That's the cruelty of war and the atomic bomb. Hiroshima, an entire city wiped out in a fraction of a second. Thousands of lives brought to a sudden end. Bit by bit, Thanks to the photos of Yoshito Matsushige, it's been possible to trace how events unfolded that Monday morning. But what do we know of the actual suffering people endured under the cloud? Dr. Harada is a surgeon at Osaka Hospital. He's also a specialist in emergency medicine, and he can shed new light on Matsushige's photos. Their hair is burnt, as well as their clothes, so they must be burnt all over their bodies. A series of details strikes him straight away. In Dr. Harada's opinion, all the victims in the photo show characteristic symptoms of very serious burns. This can be seen from the parts of their bodies that are overexposed in the photos. It's not the kind of burn you get today in the normal course of our lives. When a person is exposed to radiation from an A-bomb, the skin absorbs the rays and gives off heat. And the burns are all the more intense because the victims were lightly dressed for a summer day. So many parts of their bodies weren't protected by clothing. So, it was a very deep and serious burn. That was a surprising revelation. Indeed, when an A-bomb goes off, the temperature will cause hair to frizz. The skin is burned very deeply. Very rapidly, enormous blisters form, which then burst, leaving the flesh exposed. The nerve endings are thus in direct contact with the air. 
The pain the people suffered would have been the worst pain a person could ever experience. They were saying, Mummy, it's hot, it's hot, with their hands held out. There were people walking like this with their hands out. They were walking slowly, but walking. I was wondering why their clothes were hanging off their arms. But in fact, it was their skin. That's what I found out at the hospital. The skin had peeled off, the reddish flesh was exposed, and that too was burned. Their skins turned outward and fluid was oozing out. When you grill fish, the skin shrinks. It was like that. Mitsuko Kochi's father is there on Miyoki Bridge too. He has very bad burns on his arms. I held this side of him saying, are you all right? Then from here, the skin peeled completely off. It was his hand, hand. The skin came off and it looked so watery. Mr. Kochi's burns are characteristic of burns from a nuclear weapon. The heat of the explosion burns everything in its path. Its power is such that it leaves imprints of things on the ground, on the walls, like the shadow of death. Any hospital left standing is submerged by the victims of serious burns. The effects are beyond the power of human imagination. <laughs> Professor Hasai is a physicist. Like Dr. Harada, he has been studying for a long time the consequences of the atomic bomb. He too has remarked on the severity of the victim's burns. In the data gathered by the American army, the burns victims were a hidden factor. Yes, because it was just too awful. If this had been made public before, the US and the whole world might have reacted differently. But the US prefers to keep quiet about suffering on this scale. What they want is to recuperate all their huge investment by developing the civil applications of nuclear power. And that means not scaring people. For a long time, all their studies on the effects of the bomb remained confidential. What these studies show are the victims of keloids, a type of scarring characterized by extensive growths of flesh. It's a symptom presented by almost all the Burns victims from Hiroshima and Nagasaki as well. Several reports have shown that outside the zone hit by the wind from the explosion, the number of victims who died from burns was considerably higher than the number of those who died instantaneously inside the zone. 